Oscar, thanks for joining me on Real Reactions. Yeah, I'm happy to be here, man. All right, all right. So you've had a lot of supporting roles in the past, Oscar, and um, but now you're carrying the star-studded cast. I mean, you're the lead and you're amazing in it. Thanks, man. Um, I mean, what was that process like for you and how'd you uh, get chosen for this role? Uh, yeah, well, I I, uh, I just auditioned for it in a very traditional way. I went, came in for the casting director, and then uh, you know she sent the the tape to the Coens, and they thought it was interesting enough to bring me in for them. And uh, and then a month later, they they called and offered me the role. Um, but but yeah, you know, it's uh, it's 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 nice to have more to do in a movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what was it like working with the Cohen brothers? I mean, I hear that they share a brain on set. Can you attest to that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they, you know, they finish each other's sentences. It, it, they, uh, they, they don't really check in with each other. They just kind of know what the other person's thinking. And, uh, you know, and occasionally they'll disagree. And when they do, I'll just do whatever the last guy said. Cool, you know? cool. And the soundtrack in this movie is amazing. I mean, what was it like working with T-Bone uh, Burnett and Marcus Mumford? And what was that uh, yeah. process? Yeah, that, that, that was amazing. I, you know, about a month before we started shooting, we all got together in, in New York in one of the last uh, fully analog studios in the city called Avatar Studios um, up on the Upper West Side and we um, we all got together and, and, and T-Bone and Marcus Mumford and Timberlake and the rest of the cast and some other great musicians, the Punch Brothers and uh, and we just, you know, he dimmed the lights and put the couches out and and we just arranged the music, and, and it, you know, it was as if this was work. But all we did was hung, hang around and and figure out how to play some songs, and and Joel and Ethan would just wander around listening to it, and and kind of choosing which songs we're gonna we're gonna make up the soundtrack of the film. It was that's, amazing. That's great. Yeah. That's great. So without too many spoilers, what do you? How do you interpret the ending of the film? I mean, I view it as either a pessimistic view of um, of the life of a musician, or possibly hopeful, and possibly Lewin. Um, he's gonna continue on. With his music, I mean, how do you interpret that? I think it's a, uh, you know, I think it's, I think it's all those things. All those things are possible. You know, he's he's a, he's been a hamster on a wheel, and so there's a cyclical nature to to the whole story. And and also, it's in the structure of a folk song. You know, in, in usually in a folk song, you get the first verse and the chorus, and the second verse and the chorus, and the third verse and the chorus, and then you're back to the first verse again. And by that time, you've learned something new in the journey of the song. Uh, so those same lyrics take on a greater resonance. And, and the, the movie is structured in a very similar way.